Well, the Pittsburgh Penguins got their sixth straight win here at PPG Paints Arena tonight. They, <laughs> it was a dramatic two to one win over the Dallas Stars. Hi, I'm Dan Kingerski on the National Hockey Now and the Pittsburgh Hockey Now YouTube channel. Do me a favor. I guess it'll be over here somewhere. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Always adding more. And uh, your support means everything. Of course, to subscribe on YouTube, it is free. The Penguins really stayed within themselves uh, throughout the, the course of the 60 minutes. They had a bad first shift, gave up a goal in the first 19 seconds. Kind of um, a little bit lax when they got in the defensive zone. Chris Letang even kicked the puck, I guess trying to kick it to Marcus Pedersen, but kicked it away uh, right to uh, Rupe Hintz, who buried it. And the Penguins trailed after the first shift, one to nothing. Later in the first period, though, P.O. Joseph rescued the Penguins' third power play. A, a great spring. I mean, he just launched off the blue line. Casperi Kapan with the rush pulled up on the mid wall, snapped the puck to Joseph. And Joseph knew exactly what he was going to do with it. He jumped past the first level of the PK, took it to the dot, and ripped a shot past Jake Ottinger. Jason Zucker with a fantastic screen for the next, oh, say 55 minutes of, or I should say that, after uh, P.O. Joseph scored uh, with seven minutes to go in the, in the first period. So let's call it uh, 35 minutes. Not until later in the third period did the action pick up again. Now, in terms of the report card, check out the PHN Plus report card for the uh, the standout performances of Genny Malkin, Jason Zucker, and Brian Rust. Clearly were the Penguins' best line of the night. There was one line that was, well, kind of uh, dreadful and got a D. I won't spill the beans. I'll make you read the PHN Plus report card. Uh, Jeff Carter and Casper Kaplan. One thing to, to note from the Penguins' win, and I, and I think this is important going forward, was how the Penguins played within the game, within themselves. Now, when it's such a, a tight, defensive, low-event game, you're never quite sure if, the, if, if one team is, is not doing enough or if they're just playing patient, waiting for that, that puck bounce, that, that one opportunity. I thought the Penguins did miss an opportunity in the second period as the low to high game opened up for them. They were able to drag four and five stars defenders deep into the zone, creating space at the top for their defensemen. And they went there a little bit, but they didn't uh, follow through and they didn't go to the net. So Ottinger saw every shot that uh, the defensemen let rip. And we stayed tied at one through the entirety of the second period. We stayed tied at one deep into the third period. So I guess I would say 47 minutes going back to my poor math earlier. In the final minute, though, or I should say the several, uh, final several minutes, the Penguins had energy. They began to attack the puck. They began to go for that win. They began to be assertive. And they, they pressured Dallas along the wall uh, at, at the top of the defensive zone. You could see on that on that final shift, Evgeny Malkin had just a, a little bit of something. He just had that. Uh, I used to see Mario Lemieux get that look, that that certain stride. They're, they're they're kind of peering forward. They're leaning forward into the play, looking for that opportunity. And uh, to Malkin, Zucker, and Russ' credit, all three of them were deep in the defensive zone, defending. They had a takeaway, and then they just bolted up the ice a three wide rush Malkin called it a lucky goal I would certainly not when you have a 200 foot rush when one player takes it to the net as Zucker did Malkin finished the the rebound slash loose puck and the Penguins uh, get the two points I certainly wouldn't uh, call that luck that's exactly how you draw it up you defend hard you springboard off of the defense into the offense so uh, in terms of uh, going forward with the Penguins, their ability to stay patient, their ability to play defense, their ability to stay with the Dallas Stars in that defensive posture really bodes well for the, the Penguins. I mean, let's be honest, they get impatient, they get itchy, they make mistakes, and they often lose this, this, this kind of game. They did not on Monday night. Now they've got a couple of games in Florida, Tampa, and Florida, those should be a lot of fun as well. Dave Molinari will be snowbirding this week. So on uh, PHN and National Hockey Now YouTube channel, I'm Dan Kingerski with the 5-Minute Postgame.